Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and last uh, screencast I showed you how to insert a document library as a data view web part using SharePoint Designer. And this time I'm going to show you how to create hyperlinks on your document names in SharePoint Designer. So I have my web part that I've already inserted of a document library, and I click to select any of the document names, and I click this little chevron next to it. Um, and right here it's got the data field which tells me that I'm using the name data field and I can change what it's formatted as so I can change this to a hyperlink click yes to the message and now I have a edit hyperlink screen I'm going to clear out the address and you'll notice that when I clear out the address it also clears out the text to display field so I'm going to need to fill out the address first so I'm going to use this function key to pick a field I'm going to pick the URL path here if I put a checkbox next to show data values, it'll show me what's in all those fields as I pick it. So you can see this is the URL. So now I have my address as the URL path to the document. Now I can clear out my text to display field and pick which field I want to be displayed. So I had it, um, this is the name column, so I'm going to go ahead and just pick the name field again, but I can really just pick any field I want like um, maybe the title of the document or even the ID of it. So I'm going to pick the name, click OK. So now the address is here. It's called file ref, which is the URL path. And the text to display is the file leaf ref, which is the name of the document. Click OK. And now all of my document names are hyperlinks to open those documents. Now, it works a little bit different in, uh, with a list, so I'm going to show you because it's kind of tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a data view web part of a list that I have on my site. And this list is called Departments, a very simple list. I'm going to show the data. And the Data Source Details tab is going to show me all the fields in that list. So I'm just going to pick the title and modified. I'm going to insert those fields as a multiple item view. So that puts my title and the modified date in this web part. So you'll notice that the title isn't, see it isn't blue, so you can tell that it's not a link. So I want to make that a link to open the document. So again, I can click to select any of these fields. And when I change one, it's going to change all of the exact same fields in that column. So. For format as, I change it to hyperlink, click yes, and clear out the address bar again. And here's where I'm going to put a backslash, I'm going to pick the path field, and then I'm going to put another backslash, and then I want to open the display form for the document because I want to, not the document, the item, so because I want to display the item, so I'm going to go this form.aspx and that's just the generic display form that every item has when you are looking at it. And then this is a this is called a query string here. Question mark ID equals. And I just pick this ID field here. So when I look at the show data values, I'll just see that this particular item um, has an ID of one. It's just you know that's just the automatic field that every item has in any list or library that's usually a hidden field. So backslash path, backslash dispform, D-I-S-P-F-O-R-M, dot A-S-P-X, question mark, ID equals, and then put the ID field. And then for the text to display, I, want it, I don't want it to display all that stuff. I just want it to display the title. So I'm going to pick the title here. And what do you know? Title is actually called title. Go figure. So click OK. And now my documents are all links. And I'm refreshing the page in the browser. And now this is my web part page and it displays my document library up here and my list down here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on one of my document links to prove that it opens a document. And I'm And there's my cool expenses document that I opened.
I'm going to close that and now I can show you how. Now these, th this department list is just a very simple list with only one field in it. So I'm going to click on one of these items and now it's showing me the display form of that item. So you can see in here it says dsbform.aspx and that's what we had typed in. So that is my simple form. Now go ahead and try this and these are your simple instructions for creating hyperlink fields with a document library versus creating hyperlink fields with a list. Good luck. Thanks.